chest in one, two, three. today with LaRue Fitch. He's just written his book and we're going to interview him today and just kind of discuss with him um, what brought him to write his book. So we look forward to you staying tuned to the entire show that's going to be written. LaRue, tell us about this book you wrote. Absolutely appreciate you for having me. This is Breaking the Education Code, the instructional guide for enhancing teacher capacity while increasing scholar achievement. Um, in this book, we have best practices as well as instructional strategies to hopefully, um, you know, support teachers, as I said, building their capacity so we can close the achievement gap that is currently happening here in America, focusing more primary with our black and brown scholars, um, instilling them with those skill sets. You know, I talk about tailored instruction, project-based learning, problem-based learning, in regard to social justice, as well as we talk about data-driven instruction and how teachers can use data to adjust their instructional practices um, in their classroom. As so well. tell me what inspired you to write the book. I would say what, what has inspired me to write this instructional manual is because number one, the retention rate that's currently happening in, in America, as well as some of the instructional practices that I implemented in my years in the classroom as a teacher. So I wanted to put my information out there so I can build this cohort and we can collaborate around, you know, across the country, you know, so we can help each other. I believe a lot of information in here should be shared. It should not be held sacred. Um, and if I have an opportunity to share that so we can impact on a global level, I'm gonna do what I need to do. So that's what prepared me and that's what, you know, gave me the opportunity at this point. Okay, and as far as like, um you were on the interview a couple of months ago and we really enjoy having you there. Do you think there is anything that um, inspires you about our particular show? Yeah, absolutely. I would like to say I give a lot of credit to the show being that you guys advocate for what's happening in the community. Um, you speak on current issues that are mean that are meaningful and dear to our um, our community in which we service. If you look at a lot of those platforms, they don't talk to us, you know, um, or talk with us, sort of say they talk at us. So I like that you guys actually have these conversations that you talk with us. Um, and my first time on the interview was a very, very humbling opportunity for me. I did talk about the release of this book, but more importantly, I learned a lot from the show. Um, you guys gave me the platform and I utilized that to learn more about what's happening in current America. Um, so I give a lot of kudos to, you know, the show. Great. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Okay. You can find this book by going to LaRueMFitch.com. That is my website. Again, LaRueMFitch.com. And like I say all the time, if you are looking for someone to facilitate that collaborative conversation around culture, curriculum, as well as instruction, please make sure that you inbox me anytime. I'm here to work with you, whether I'm there physically or if I'm there remotely. I'm here to support the needs of the building. Great. Thank you so much. We really appreciate it. Um you allowing us to come to your book signing and as always um, tune in to the interview every Tuesday at 7 p.m. Well, that's 
Sitting in like it's like playing a video game. It's shift and it shifts in real time. I'm gonna try to do one over there, but we'll see. Is there tons of things for the kids to do? Yeah, there's a lot of things. They had a lot of interactive stuff. I was really I've never been there. I've always wanted to come. Okay. Now, do you feel like he enjoyed himself? Yeah, I think I told her wherever she went. We're gonna try to come every year now. Okay, awesome. Right away. 